Hi, so this video is going to be about the feeling where it's sad. To work on emotions, you can do it in specific activities. So like the one I'm going to demonstrate in the video, which is just reading through a book and looking at pictures of people who are sad and labeling that word. You can also work on feeling words by labeling in the moment. So if you notice that the person you're with is sad or happy or excited or calm, then you can tune in and label that emotion for them and also try and visually show that, whether that's through a love sign or through their AAC system. I couldn't talk about emotions without mentioning an emotion regulation keychain. Um, I have an example of one here. This isn't a very good one. It's just the one I had in my handbag. Um, but basically there would be pictures of different emotions and this one doesn't have it but on the back would be what you could do if you feel that way. So there's one here for tired and you would personalize this so that on the back of the card there's different regulatory strategies your young person can use when they're tired. So if I was personalizing this for me my regulatory strategies for tired could be have a shower, have a coffee, go for a nap or do 20 jumping jacks and then basically when your young person feels a certain emotion you can tune in and label it and then help them by showing them their emotion regulation keychain the emotion that they feel turning it over and finding a regulatory strategy to help them if you think that sounds useful for your young person just contact your speech and language therapist and we'll be able to make one with you and we can personalize it for whatever regulatory strategies your young person would benefit from. As well as labeling your child's emotions, you can also label your emotions and give an example of what you can do to make yourself feel better. So you could say, oh, I'm angry, angry. I need to go for a run. One last point about emotions is that it's really, really nice to find sometimes when the person you're with is calm and tuning in and labeling that emotion. So, oh, you're calm. This book is all about feeling sad. Sometimes we feel sad. We might cry when we feel sad. He is sad. His toy is broken. She is sad. No one will play with her. The baby is sad. She wants more cookies. She's hungry. She is sad. The dog jumped on her. This girl is sad. She misses her mom. The baby is sad. The baby feels sick. The girl is sad. She fell down on the playground. He is sad. The swimming pool is closed. She is sad. Her dog ran away. He is sad. He lost the game. That makes me sad too. I do not like losing a game. Sometimes we feel sad. That's okay. Things will get better. Now, this book is finished. I'm sad at the moment because I miss everyone that I used to see in work. What makes you sad? What can you do to make yourself feel calm again? Thanks for watching.